G'day, welcome back. So back here with the Audi 80. It's gonna sit over there. Um, got a wee problem with the a knocking noise from the sun, front suspension and a lot of oil coming from somewhere, suspension-wise. Uh, so the only place with oil is the shocks. So looks like I've got a leaking shock on the passenger side. Uh, so we're gonna strip it down, take it out, see what the problem is, fix it up, and um, get done. So. Um, come along and we'll um, sort it out. So I've already made a video of changing these these shocks. I'll put a link somewhere. So it's not going to be a normal, it's not going to be a DIY video because I don't make DIY videos, but it's just a quick look at the problem and the fix and um, go from there. So it's four years ago, pretty much four years ago to the day that I last changed those shocks. So they've lasted reasonably. Um, so yeah, we're putting some new KYBs in. Wanted to go for Bilstein, but they were hundred dollars more expensive so went KYB uh, so yeah this is how it went where's all that oil come from and a leaky shock Bugger. So as you can see, there's plenty of oil and junk coming out of this shock. So we have to replace it. They're about four years old. They're the quality top round ones. You saw the video of when I did it first time around, but uh, replacing them with KYBs. Not out of choice, but these were a hundred bucks cheaper than the uh, Bill Stein. So KYBs should be fine. Should be better than the ones that were in there. Um, so yeah, I'll set you up and we'll strip it down and see what's what. Alright, so first off, we can get these buggers on. Oh. A special tool or two prong what's it go and do the two prong what's it got this special got a turret nut thingy take the top man off this off. Don't know then that was loose, does it? Oh, 
that's nice, isn't it? That's real nice. So here's the new one. So yeah, that's the second time that nut's look come loose. Um, so this time we'll put some thread lock on there because uh, that's not ideal. Right, so we clean those threads up with um, a brake clean. Here's our big f off nut and some thread locker. So yeah, it was just about three years ago this worked loose last time. Didn't spill oil everywhere. I'd put a little bit of oil in the bottom of here just to help with heat transfer and noise and the like. Um, but yeah, didn't expect that. So I think that old shock is actually still good. It's just um, just where the oil outside came out. So we'll compare the two in a minute. But uh, and when you tighten stuff up with one of these, you don't normally expect it to come loose. So. the shot. <laughs> right, you'd think that would never come loose, ever. I don't think it would. Right, a new bump stop. That's quite exciting having bump stops. And we've got a new Mail HD top mount. Compressed than the old one. Hang on, we need the spring on that way. So, I want to clean the spring, but I don't want to do it when it's in the spring compressors. It's about Top map. Replacing these nuts as well. in the uh, death grips.
can get that set where I need to reset. So, oh well. Right, so all that's back together, just nuts, bolts, done up tight, perfect. Right, the last nut to do up, this one here. Well, they tell you you're supposed to put an Allen key in there and hold it still while you tighten it, but, you know, most days I'll do that, just not today. Done. Right, so I think I was a wee bit premature in condemning the shock, so I think it was just that top nut ball. Just to have the old compression test here, so hang on, let me just compress them. No, one's definitely a bit sadder than the other. Looks like it. Well, they're still doing plenty of damping. Um, so yeah, I don't think that's quite the issue. This was the um, the loose one. And thinking about it, I think it was actually this side, the driver's side, that was loose last time, three years ago. So this is the first time this one's come loose. So four years for that one. Uh, but either way, we got new shocks, new top mounts, new bump stops, new little nutty things. So hopefully, um, that's a sorted for the next few years for, for shocks anyway. So there we go. Thought I'd show you my problem, show you my fix, and um, that's it. Cheers.